Welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Steve Hughes. I'm Director of Consulting here at Pragmatic Works. And today I'd like to continue my ongoing series on three things that you should know about Azure. And today's topic is Azure SQL Data Warehouse Generation 2 or Gen 2. Azure SQL Data Warehouse has been around in Azure for quite some time. It's one of the original data platforms that were delivered on, the, on Azure. The Gen 2 release provided significant updates in the overall product. Here are three things to understand about Gen 2 release of SQL Data Warehouse in Azure. First of all, adaptive caching is the first thing we want you to be aware of. With the release of Gen 2, Microsoft was striving to resolve a report performance issue common on the MPP platform. While large queries perform well, repetitive queries to support reports and other interactive solutions was lacking, or just at times just wasn't where you wanted it to be. Adaptive caching uses a combination of in-memory and disk-deployed caches to retain common query requests to improve the overall import and performance of those queries. This is likely the most significant improvement in, in SQL Data Warehouse and one of the primary reasons to look at moving to the Gen 2 release. There are a lot of other things that, hap that happen, we'll talk about two more, but this adaptive caching really does improve the overall performance and flexibility of the um, Azure Data Warehouse solution. The second thing they did was increase the concurrency capability. So this is the second thing you should know. Um, this has been an ongoing uh, conversation in the SQL Data Warehouse as well as in the appliance. Uh, the default level is 32 concurrent, concurrent query slots. Queries that use more than one slot or large volumes of queries will end up queuing. This queuing results in unexpected delays and fulfilling requests. However, if you need a high level of concurrency, you really couldn't do anything. So now today you can. Today you increase to 128 concurrent queries to support a heavier workload in your environment. This gives you the option to continue to grow your use case for Azure SQL Data Warehouse and take advantage of MVP technology in your, uh, in, in your environment. The third thing to know is that they've increased scaling capabilities to work in conjunction with con concurrency capabilities. It is now possible to scale well beyond the 6,000 DWUs or data warehousing units that were the measure of what you got. So if you look at your performance and overall capabilities, DWUs represent that, that combination of uh, memory, processing, and uh, storage access. So with Compute Optimize, you now have the, op the option to scale up to 30,000 DWUs, and that will probably increase as time goes on. And you can now use SQL Data Warehouse support, even your largest data warehouse solutions without issue. So if you're thinking, ah, should I go to the cloud? Do I have the capacity to do so? Azure SQL Data Warehouse brings the capacity and really brings it in competition with a lot of other tools. So as you can see, Azure SQL Data Warehouse has been significantly updated to better support larger workloads for your reporting and data warehousing needs. One more time, here are the three things I want you to know about Gen 2. It has adaptive caching, so in-memory support for all that you're doing. Increased concurrency capabilities, so you can now get up to 128 concurrent queries supported in the platform and increase scaling options and you can scale up to 30,000 DTUs. If you're evaluating moving from an on-premise appliance such as Teradata, Oracle Exadata, or even Microsoft's APS, or have any other use case you're liking to look at at the Azure Data Warehouse solution, click the link below for more information on how Pragmatic Works can help you modernize your data warehouse solutions on Azure. Thank you and have a great day.